Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So I haven't had a ton of time to research some favorites for you this month, especially not enough time to like get them in and try them. But I did come up with two things and then just one really cool fun thing. Can y'all hear the sirens? It's a lot louder here than it was in Charleston. I am on like a main road and there's lots of just traffic and cars and emergency vehicles <laughs> all night. Um, I'm getting used to it though. Like it's not New York by any means, but it's closer to New York than it is to Charleston. So anyways, um, okay. So I did find two favorite sewing notions. And then I also have a really cool story, something I just want to show you guys, like a show and tell kind of thing that I think you all will think is really cool. So I'll save that for the end. The first thing, you probably can barely even see it, but this is a surging needle threader. And as you guys know, Surging, threading your serger is like a tedious, annoying process. We did that little tester video where you tie the knots off and run it through. And honestly, I've done that a couple of times since then and still had not great results despite all of the additional tips that you guys left in that video. I think I'm just like an old school girl and just want to thread my machine like you're supposed to. Um, but getting the thread through the needle eye, what I found was one of the things that took the longest for me, especially, I mean, I'm going to say as I get older, <laughs> I know that I'm not old, but my eyes are like, I've never worn glasses, never worn contacts, never had an issue with like reading things far away, but I am noticing that my close up vision is not as sharp as it used to be. Let's just call it that. So I tried this little needle threader thing. It works just like any other one would, except it's really long. Can you see? Oh, jeez. And I lost it. <laughs> I'll probably never find, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I probably never find it again. Anyways, it's really long and it's got a huge hole to put the thread through. And then the thread slips into this other little circular thing. And then you push all of this through your needle eye and pull it out the other end and you can thread your serger needle in like two seconds. Um, it comes with a pack of like three or five and I imagine that's because people keep losing them. So they started selling them like in bulk. I keep mine like in the little tray of my sewing machine just like that. And so it's always there, nice and handy. Um, anyways, it just makes the surging, the threading of the serger a little bit easier. Coincidentally, it also works on your cover stitch machine if you have a cover stitch. I did try it on my regular sewing machine, but because, I don't know if it's because the needle is right in front of the shank. So when you push that long needle threader through, it you kind of had to go around a turn and it didn't like turning, but on your serger the needles are like offset from the shank a little bit so it can go right through no problem um speaking of sergers actually didn't even realize this it's two serger favorites i saw this and was instantly intrigued and like is that really going to help so my serger sits on an ikea desk it is not the most stable surface around and when I run my serger, because it's one of the lower end sergers, it's also like a little bit like chugging along. <laughs> it's not a smooth ride, if you know what I'm saying. So I saw these mats that they sell, I think as serger mats, but you can also use them for lots of other different things. Anywhere you want to like put a buffer between an appliance or a machine and the surface that it's on to prevent it from jumping around or bouncing or being really, really loud. So I was like, okay, like makes sense. I can see why that would work. Um, let me try and see if it works. And I'll say that noise wise, there's only a slight improvement but in terms of the machine, like shaking the whole table and the machine itself kind of bouncing around, that improved greatly. The machine is not going anywhere 
and it's just more steady and like before like sometimes things would like eventually fall off the desk from like the vibration it would move them and then they fall off the desk that's not happening anymore so it's um reducing like the vibration on the desk which is nice um and like i said sound is only a little bit better but still better but the sound really wasn't what bothered me it was just that everything felt like an earthquake the whole time <laughs> so i'm gonna get one of these for my cover stitch as well they also sell one that's a little bit longer like this way for your sewing machine so um if you want to get these kind of mats for your entire collection of machines they have them sized and ready to go um i really like it another benefit that i didn't realize is that when you have your tray in your sewing machine you know how it would never stay like up close to the machine this makes sure that it, when it goes in locked i don't know it stays locked maybe that has to do with the vibration i'm not sure but no matter how many times i click it into place it would never stay but this helps it stay a little bit so i thought that was also a neat little perk of the product both of these things the um needle threader and this are going to be linked in the description box of this video so check the description box down below for links direct links where you can go find these and then the third thing is my fun little show and tell so i have a friend sarah from back in charleston who you might have heard me talk about her she was actually with us um for the sewing retreat in beaufort we all started sewing at the same time took sewing classes together, that's how we met. And then she stopped sewing when she got pregnant with her first child and then had another child after that and has just recently gotten back into sewing. So um, she is our sewing friend. And her dad is like super handy guy, a craftsman kind of by his own right. He doesn't sew, but he makes like I think like wooden baskets or something like that. Anyways, she had him make me and Amber um, these seam rippers. And the handle is made from a deer that I believe someone in their family killed. <laughs> but they are a nose to tail family like she regularly buys half cows and like uses up everything that they give her bone for the bone broth and of course all the meat and everything so no surprise to me that they found a way to use this part of the animal as well um so yeah it's a really neat little gift obviously very unique there's only i think three of them Amber has one, I have one, and Sarah got one. Um, but it's just really cool and very kind of like thoughtful of her to say, hey, you know, dad, it would be really neat if you could figure out a way to make a seam ripper. I didn't even know that you could buy these things, the little seam ripper part, and like make your own handle. I never even considered doing that. But anyways, it's really cool. It's a very, very special gift, one that I will cherish for a long time. Um, I told her that he could sell these, but I don't think they're interested. <laughs> Maybe it was a lot of work, I don't know. But anyways, it's really cool. I love it. And I also love that it's like a little bit crooked because I can just stick it in to my mesh um, or my like, wire shelving unit and it's like always right there by my sewing machine. And it's little and kind of ergonomic, you know, with a little crook in it. Anyways, I don't know. I really love this and thought you guys would think the story was cool since her family, you know, this is like the deer's part of the family now, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so that is gonna do it for my favorite things for December, 2018. I am gonna be doing a roundup of my 2018 top favorite things, things that I discovered this year that are like the best of the best, the things that I use regularly that have come, become a regular part of my sewing um, work. 
um, the best of the best of 2018. So look forward to that very soon. Um, in the meantime, let me know in the comments below if you found anything unique or special or fun or exciting um, that you're using in your sewing room a lot. I want to hear about it. I will buy it. I will test it out and maybe it'll get featured on a future favorites video. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon.